so tall. <laughs> so, do you hear the one about a bunch of stoners who built a bridge? It was a joint effort. <laughs> Uh, so, as I said, I do some stand-up comedy around town, and uh, after a while, I started having to steer away from self-deprecating jokes. Because it turns out, when all you do is bash on yourself, it's just sad. <laughs> uh, having said that, do you have any idea what it's like to be a five foot six manlet? Yes, that is a real word. Uh, who, like Justin Bieber's got more facial hair than I do, you know? And I don't know what you're thinking, like, this This isn't too bad, this is a respectable amount of facial hair. And the problem with that is that I've been trying to grow this out since about 2008. Uh, so I had a girlfriend once, just once, and she got upset at me because I didn't defend her in an argument earlier that day. And the way she decided she was going to show me this was to punch me in the face. So when I woke up, a couple hours later, I decided she could defend herself. Uh, you know the expression, she's something else? What is she? I don't know, but it is never anything good. I've also got problems with the phrase, uh, you've got that in spades. Because what kind of unit of measurement is a shovel anyway? And, and I was talking to a friend of mine about this, and she tried to tell me, no, 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 Chris, it's about, it's about playing cards. And I'm like, yeah, that really clears that shit up. <laughs> so, did you know that fruitcake is like the only food item you can call somebody that'll really piss them off? <laughs> like, like, you can call somebody a slice of humble pie, and they're like, oh, that's flattering. Or, or you can say, your milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> and that's a little weird. But they won't hit you for it. When you call somebody a fruitcake, you better be looking for a fight. And it turns out, that's not an American thing. Uh, if you go to Japan, it gets worse. Because there, like, the translation for fruitcake is Christmas and cakey. And here's the thing, Christmas and cakey sounds like Christmas and cake, which are two wonderful things to me. But if you call a woman in Japan Christmas and cakey, it turns out that means that she is old and nobody wants her anymore. Last time I'm calling my grandma that. <laughs> so when I was six, uh, we found out that I've got this, this little glitch in my brain where when I see a baseball flying at my face, all I get to think is, oh, that's really pretty, and there's a white light, and I wake up later. Some of you may be noticing a trend. Uh, my dad saw this same glitch. And when he saw it, he then found a way to exploit that glitch. And so for my seventh birthday, I got what normal people call a pitching machine. And what I call the painful nap time machine. And what my dad called hours of entertainment. <laughs> so uh, around, around my house, we don't call them home improvement projects. Uh, I call them near-death experiences. <laughs> because nothing really makes your life flash before your eyes like letting that man swing a hammer three inches in front of your face goes speed. <laughs> so the other day, I'm sitting at Denny's, right? And I see what is obviously a firefighter shirt. And I know this because on the front it says firefighter. <laughs> but on the back, it says we fight what you fear. And I don't buy that. Because I cannot call the fire department when there's a spider in my house. <laughs> How do you fight heights, anyway? Uh, can you believe that those guys wouldn't even fight my girlfriend for me? <laughs> That's my time tonight.